It's Ronnie and welcome to my channel. I am going to scrap this picture of my grandson and I'm going to use <laughs> what is left of my Christmas delivery. Yeah, I don't have a full sheet of paper left. I did find a sheet of Cozy Christmas and I thought about using it. It's the one with the red and the believe and the joy and Mary on it. But I don't go ahead and use it. I end up piecing together <laughs> a layout from what is left of the Christmas delivery. Oh, and I even took that close to my heart paper out and thought about using it, but I didn't. And I'm going to use a piece of green from that uh, paper studio pack because his uh, card around the picture is green. And I thought I'd bring that color out a little bit. I'm going to use those two papers on that uh, frame, that snowflake frame you see in the background I'm going to use them on that and I really wanted to use that black plaid but yeah I didn't I ended up using the more solid side it it just seemed to go better with the other so I went ahead and did it that way and I'm gonna I cut them at I believe it was 11 and a half and all I'm going to do is layer them now and adhere them down. Yeah, I, yeah, that picture, I'll tell, go ahead and tell you about the picture. I, you know, I'm a scrapbooker. You all are too, probably, or you wouldn't be watching the video. My daughter had called me and told me that she picked him up from school and that he had this and that, you know, that he got at the Christmas party. Plus a picture of him with Santa Claus. I said, oh, text me a picture so I can scrapbook it. This is what I got. Not the picture of him with Santa Claus. A picture of him holding the picture of him with Santa Claus. And, of course, it's a Polaroid. So I can't even zoom in and crop it that way. And she don't know what she done with it. So I scrap what I can get. And this is all I got, so that's what I'm scrapbooking. And when I was thinking, okay, I can probably get one, maybe two more layouts out of the scraps that I have. What pictures do I want to use? And I really like this paper. So I thought, I really want to pull that one out and print it and scrapbook it. So that's what I am doing. And see me, I am even cutting that little tiny branding strip. Yeah, it's going to be the little border between the two pieces. And there is black paper I could have used. I, I could have even gutted that black speckled paper right there. But I used the branding strip. And I'm also going to use the title on the branding strip too. This paper is just like almost perfect for my picture and me having her text me and give it to me. I mean, there is all kinds of stuff I used on here to pertain to that. And uh, like Happy Mail, I'm going to use that on here. Rush Order via text is what my title is going to be. And Christmas Delivery. And uh, the Christmas Delivery is the name of the collection so I do cut that off the branding strip and use it because I started to use one that said delivery and I was putting it right on top of my title and it seemed kind of big and I thought I need delivery smaller and then when I went to cut it I thought I think I'll just use Christmas along with it and I'm using the whole title to the collection right on my page I am doing a cross stitch here and where I usually go back through the same holes and have the X's right next to each other, I'm leaving the space of an X in between each one. And so there's like a gap between. I thought I'd do something different for a change. I'm using this black and white paper for a banner. And oh, I love that uh, buffalo plaid that's on the back. But I already had so much red on my layout that I thought I'd use this black instead. And of course, it wasn't quite as long as I wanted it to be, so I had to cut it in half and make it longer. I was thinking also about putting my picture up on foam tape, but then I decided, nope, I'm going to go ahead and put it flat. 
I'm going to use some chipboard on here. I forgot to show it earlier, but I do have some. Well, I don't think I use any on here. I put one on there for a few minutes. Yeah, I did. The Happy Mail is chipboard. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that Christmas chair, I thought I was going to use it. I have had it on three layouts so far, and it hasn't made it permanently yet. Here I'm trying several things out to go up there, and I figured I might be doing some layering, so I put that tag that kind of looks like a ticket, but <laughs> no, I like this one, and it says, "'Tis the season to be jolly,' and I'm going to, well, I've already done it. I made fishtails out of it, and I'm going to layer it in black. And as you can see, I pulled the trimmer out, but <laughs> it didn't work out very well. So I'm doing it by hand. I wanted just a narrow black edge on here, not the wide one that I was ending up with. And I'm putting that towards the top of the page. And when I first laid it down, I thought, well, I'll get the tiny attacher and put a couple of staples in it. But then I remembered that I already did some cross stitching on the page. And then I could put a cross stitch on each end instead, make it match. So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting one, one only, on each end. And I'm only going to put one other thing up there. I did have the thought, you know, I'd put a few things. But I couldn't find anything I really liked except the Happy Mail. And it is going to go up there. And I am going to like it there. Oh, and I'm also going to put some enamel dots. So, yeah, I am... I am going to put a little more than I was saying. And you, I played this back a second ago. <laughs> and every time I look at my layout, my voice gets lower because I turn my head and forget, <laughs> forget to turn the microphone when I turn it. Sorry. Um, I am gluing my stitch on the back and then I'm going to put some washi tape on there too just to make sure that it don't come out. And I bet you all were thinking, is she ever going to put that picture down? And yeah, <laughs> finally, finally I did. I just kind of kept pushing it around the page instead of putting it down. But I got tired of it finally. I just showed you two dies. And they're what I used to make these three trees. They actually come in a set of three. But I'm not sure what happened to the little baby one. I cannot find it. But... The two that I had worked fine with this. I made three, one bigger one and two smaller ones. And I am taking an embossing pen and using it on all. It has like little cutouts on the tree. And I poofed them up, which don't help a whole lot, but it helps a little bit. <laughs> and then I went ahead and took the embossing pen and rub different places where it looked like branches might have snow settle on them and then I embossed them and I didn't use no embossing buddy or anything with it because if there's extra sprinkles that get on there that's fine but since it is supposed to portray portray <laughs> snow I'm going to adhere the biggest tree to the page and then the other two I'm putting foam tape behind them and See, I'm putting it on each side, and I'm going to put the one on the left over just a little bit farther than the one on the right is, so the back one won't be completely centered. And then I pulled, this is a mailbox that I fussy cut out of one of the papers. I fussy cut that entire paper. It had such awesome goodness on there. Huh, I couldn't resist. But I put it there, and it looks kind of plain, so I will end up finding something to put on there with it. And, oh, I, I'm i still thinking I might make a cluster of some sort up there, but no, it's not going to happen. I just was thinking it was going to happen. I do like that Christmas, because it's kind of like an outline of each of the letters, but it's not going to make it on the layout either. Here I am working on my title. And it's Fitzgerald font. Love, love, love it. It's got to be a layout that I am really, really w wanting to keep for myself before I use the Fitzgerald. Just saying. <laughs> uh, my title, it says Rush Order and uh, Via Text. And then I'm going to put the Christmas delivery 
right on top of the text. It'll be at the bottom of the word, sort of. Yeah, but you can still read it. You can still see that it says via text. But yeah, I like that rush order you know, because I did ask her to send it to me. And she did send this right away as soon as they got home and got out of the car. But it wasn't exactly what I was wanting. You can see he's holding it up like it's the star of the photo. Yeah, she probably says, Mama wants to see a picture of you and Santa Claus. And and he posed for it. But yeah, I, I am thrilled to get this because I do have a story to go with it. And I planned on making a tag and putting it behind the picture. Yeah, so I might have to pull that up because I forgot to do that. Or I might actually just write on the page up there and right around the title or something yeah that sounds good i could do it with my white gel pen or i could put a little journaling tag up there in that cluster that never made it to be a cluster and write it right there there's plenty of space so i have a few options that i could go ahead and do since i forgot to do it when i was making the layout i am working on a cluster right now and that tag says hello <laughs> no it don't it says handle with care i don't know where i came up with the hello first glance uh, i seen the h and yeah, it just blurted out and the thing is usually when there's a hello in a collection it either never gets used on a layout or it's the last of the pieces in that collection and finally gets used because it's not exactly, I guess can't never find anything that I actually need it for. Let's see. Oh, I'm using Heidi Swap in the white. And sometimes it works good and sometimes it don't. It depends on the paper, I think. Well, it didn't work good on this paper. And see how miraculously it popped up there? I went dot by dot and put more Heidi Shine on them and made it thicker, I guess. M more opaque. But anyway, it's on there now. <laughs> but it did take two on each of those dots. Yeah, dot by dot. Since I had green in each one of these little cluster areas, whatever, you know, I thought I need some up there with the title. So that little round thing that you see me put there, it's got a little flower with a couple of leaves and that made my green in that area. <laughs> it's not much. You got to really, really, really be looking for it, but it is there. Uh, I took that piece off, you know, that I said I didn't like. Santa Claus is coming. Yeah, and I'm putting this gift that I fussy cut out instead. I think that looks a lot better. I might not have put anything there if I hadn't tore the paper, though. These enamel dots were sent to me by Liz, Tin Lizzie, here on YouTube. And I'm using the black ones. And I'm going to use three in each one of these little clusters. I'm not going to use it with the trees. I think it's just fine the way it is. Oh, and I did put a little piece of paper across there that said Wonderland on the mailbox. In case y'all see something dark down there, that's what that is. And it's like a dark green. It's not actually black. If the light hits it good, you might be able to tell it's a dark green. But that's it. That's my layout. And this is day 11. Oh, yeah, one more day to go. Uh, I'll leave the link below for the next person on Becky's Hop. And uh, if you'd like to leave a comment, I'd love to respond. If you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. This sure has been a fun hop. Lots and lots of inspiration for everyone. But I'd like to thank you all again. And I hope you have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.